What's going on guys? I uh, just want to give a quick rundown of this next hunt. Uh, the other night we had some weather and stuff coming through and I decided to go on a solo hunt. My hunting partners, their schedule really didn't line up with mine. I was free. Uh, we had an area where we had seen some coyotes on camera. We knew they were there, but with the weather coming through, I figured they might be kind of active and you don't know if you don't go. My only concern was is the area had uh, beans still in the field. All the leaves were off the, the beans at this point. They're probably within another week of picking, and I wasn't really sure what to expect because of not being able to see but so far into the bean field. But uh, I got out, uh, got my gear together, kind of walked around a little bit you know, away from the truck, started scanning with the K3, and I saw something, two objects, little heat signatures, kind of mousing around in the fields. Um, it, I wasn't really sure what they were to start with because all I saw was just the top of the heat signature and realized, well, they got to be coyotes and it was a pair of them. So I got set up, called a little bit, uh, couldn't really get their attention. And then I went to like a serenade and that's when one of them perked up, uh, started coming in. I kind of made a bad shot trying to shoot through the beans. I thought I had a clean one. And as you can tell in the video, the dog takes a hard turn. I get a full clean shot on the side of it and it was perfect about 140 150 yards if i remember and then went uh actually it was pretty cool i don't do it very often but it helped a lot the other night is on the l6 the laser rangefinder uses a laser to uh zero the rangefinder to the reticle so i remembered exactly where the heat signature was i turned the laser on walked right out there to where the coyote was laying drug it out then figured, well, hey, there's I've seen two. I need to get a chance at the other one because it kind of took off. Um, and I lost it in the beans and figured I'd give it a try. So made another sit, probably another 300 yards from where I was. We have an old barn set up at kind of the top of a hill. I was able to see farther down into the beans and uh, started playing some house, some lone house. Finally got something to kind of talk back to me. Uh, kind of went quiet for a little bit. So I went to a rabbit distress and that's when I started seeing one start hopping across the field. I started catching its heat signature and I kept losing it, kept picking up in the beans. It was actually two, one I could keep my eyes on for the most time. I sped it up in there when I was scanning, trying to figure out where that coyote went and it snuck up on me. Um, that one come in probably 50 yards from me and was right downwind of the call. I take my shot, you can see the blood fly in the video and he takes off running. Well, I went down there to track it, uh, tracked some blood and then the beans started getting a lot higher and I started kind of losing it. And I think what happened was is that bullet just didn't explode like it normally would and I'm pretty sure it's just poked a hole right through the side of them. Uh, that was not the first time I've seen that happen with this particular one, but um, I'm pretty sure he's done at this point because I tracked it for a good ways, but I did lose him in the thickness of the beans. But I don't keep boring you. I'm going to go ahead and roll right into the footage, but I give you an idea of what you're going to see with those two sits. So uh pulling a solo mission tonight. wanted to try and get my first single uh, by myself. And I would say, so far, it's uh, it's working out pretty good. We gotta, got this guy. 